Right guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Rivertuner statistics in conjunction with MSR Afterburner to cap your FPS, to give you um, a one constant FPS with very minimal fluctuation, so you get very smooth gameplay. So what you're going to need to do in MSR Afterburner is just in your monitoring, um, just set, I normally use for my benchmarking, I, I, I measure 1% lows, 0.1% lows, and average frame rate, but we're going to unselect, or we're only going to be measuring frame rate and average frame rate for this, for this test. So, for this test, I'm going to be using Spider-Man Remasters, so I'm just going to go into the game quickly. Right, so now once you're in your game, basically what you want to do, and I'll just go through my settings quickly, this is just my stock st standard settings I use for my benchmark when I test drivers. So it's just the medium settings preset. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a single benchmark run. And you're going to measure your average FPS. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to take your average FPS and we're going to subtract either 8, between 8 and 10 FPS off your average FPS. Because remember, with average FPS you get higher FPS and then you get lower FPS. So what you're trying to achieve here is to cap our FPS at one single FPS where it doesn't go higher or it doesn't go lower, you get smooth gameplay. So I'm just gonna string quickly. I'm gonna switch on my average FPS counter there. And I'm just gonna string, I think just to the Avengers Tower, a little bit further than the Avengers Tower. Okay guys, so just bear in mind, I am using GeForce Experience to capture this gameplay, so I'm using about uh, 2 to 3 FPS in general, yeah? It's, you get the idea, so I just want to swing for about a minute or so, just so I can get my average FPS, and then I'm going to be subtracting 10 F or 8 FPS from that. And then we're going to be capping our FPS to 8 FPS lower than average FPS. In so doing, getting smooth, light butter frame rates or gameplay, sure. So, okay, so I think this is far enough. My average FPS is 70, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boot out of the game and then in Windows, I'm going to cap my FPS to 62 using Rivertuner statistics. Right, so now back in Windows, I'm just going to go into Rivertuner statistics and I'm going to add the Spider-Man Remastered executable. So just locate where your, where your game's executable is, add the executable. And remember, my average FPS was 70, so I'm going to subtract 8 FPS from 70, so I'm going to cap Spider-Man Remastered to 62. And then in so doing, uh, I, when I go back into the game, uh, I'm going to do the same benchmark and my FPS should hardly fluctuate from 62. And what we're going to achieve then is smooth like butter, but gameplay. Right, so I'm back in Spider-Man Remastered after capping my FPS to 62. Just bear in mind, I am recording my gameplay, so it doesn't work exactly the same for me. But for you, if you're doing what I'm suggesting now, you'll notice that the gameplay is a lot smoother. There are no big fluctuations whatsoever. As you can see, well, what I can feel now is the gameplay is just so much smoother because it's now sticking to one FPS. And that is how you go about using River Tuner and MSR Afterburner to make your gameplay smooth again. Boom. Anyways, this was a video for a long time viewer of mine. I did promise him that I'd try to make a video on Rivertune and how to make gameplay smoother. So this is for Nero Obi. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the time to do so.
Have a good evening. It's people like you. Cheers.